I picked up this mini PC on Amazon. This is by a company called Bose Game. They just quite literally appeared on Amazon. I've never seen them before. And it was a really good price. This is a 6000 series AMD processor. So it's, these are, can be pretty expensive. And this one here had a huge coupon. So it's like 450 Canadian. Um, this is going to be part of my series. This one I'm going to do a full review right now. We'll open it up and have a look at it. Uh, you can see here I have another one from another brand left there. And on the right here I have a big stack of mini PCs over there. Uh, because this is part of my kind of review series on all these different mini PCs. So you may be coming right from my comparison video where I compare all these different ones to one another. If that's something you're curious about, go back and watch that. I am going to have individual reviews for each of them. So I'm going to have the review of this, which you're watching right now. I'm going to also have a review of this, 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 etc. So I bought all of these myself. None of these are review units. None of them are samples. None of them are gifts. None of them are sponsored. None of them have any contact with these companies. I bought all of these myself. So um, yeah, that was a lot of money. I'll put it that way. But sometimes you got to spend to make cool videos. So... If these videos, if these mini PCs don't suck, I'll put them in my Amazon store below and you can feel those links, which I do get a little bit of commission through Amazon, not through these guys. Uh, if they do suck though, I won't put the links down because I don't want to sell crappy, I don't want people to buy crappy stuff. So nice packaging, foamy old packaging, decent weight to it. Let's see what we get for accessories. That's nice packaging. This is so far the nicest little mini PC packaging I've seen to date. I've viewed lots of them. Uh, so we get a huge charger in here for this one. It's a massive charger, 120 watts. It's a massive charger for a mini PC. It's got weight to it too. Like it's like a legit full charger, 120 watts. I could charge my like pretty powerful laptop with that. I'm surprised. Uh, these guys are the newest, I would say, to this branding here. This one here has pretty good specs. So, I mean, you're getting good specs on the model. It has a 6,000 series, but it basically costed less than uh, these 5,000 series models here. So, I mean, that's pretty telling that they're able to keep the cost down a bit. So you might have some corners cut here and there, but this is a plastic material, very premium though, still metal all the way around. Um, overall looks good. You know, it's a plastic, but it's a good plastic, I would say. Same type design there, the four screws on the bottom. So really the same as the other ones. Okay, and here's a look inside the Baus game. Uh, it has good RAM, 4800 megahertz DDR5. It's not going to be as uh, fast as the B-Link SER5, SER, SER6, SER7. 5600 megahertz, you can see right there, or mega transfers in the B-Link. This is 4800, but that's not the full picture. This is CL40. This is CL46. So technically this is faster, uh, 5600 and then CL46 latency. Um, uh, but the latency should be pretty close actually because 40... CL40 with that here. That's really nice actually to see that. Um, they're not cheaping out and putting in some off-brand stuff. Actually, all of these mini PCs that I've been working with today have good parts. Um, so I'm actually, I'm very happy about this so far. Um, this is a Kingston drive. I don't know what model it is. It says Gen 4, so maybe it's like, it might be like an NV2. I think it's called NV2. Little Wi-Fi there. RZ608. So Bose, Bose game is using uh, good parts here so far. Um, good RAM and good storage. And you know what? Like, that's a big consideration for me because um, that's something that could fail. I mean, a random off-brand SSD can give you a headache and a random off-brand, uh, you know, RAM, set of RAM modules can give you a headache. So it's nice to just have reliable components like that. And there's a snag somewhere. If you're doing this, by the way, in the future, take your time. Don't pull very hard. On these type of things, um, I'm going. I go into almost every single electronic. Almost every single electronic I open, I go in blind, um, and I just take my time. I don't pull hard on stuff because surface mount materials will get pulled off. I don't feel any screws or anything, but there's definitely some tension. There we go. So that's the fan on that there, the Baus gain. Uh, we have our CMOS battery there. Nice, good size fan there. Pretty thick. Uh, again, this will be the type of fan you'd find more in a, in a gaming laptop, not a thin and light like you know little Ultrabook. Uh, this is a CPU that you would also find in you find in you could find it in Ultrabooks, um, the 6800H, but it also is commonly in you know gaming laptops and that too. So it can run fairly hot. It's not going to run as hot as Intel, like 12th gen, not even close. Uh, but you're still going to want good cooling. That looks like a nice fan there, nice amount of copper there, decent amount of copper underneath, um, and you should blow out decently there. So that looks pretty good. I think it's gonna run relatively cool. This looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm running some Cinebench. We'll just see how noisy this gets.
It's actually really quiet, considerably quieter than some of the other mini PCs that I've tested. Now it does get a little bit warmer than, for example, the SER6 that I tested from B-Link, but the SER6 from B-Link uh, has a much bigger fan, so it produces a little bit more noise, but it does run a little bit cooler. And you'll see when we get to the benchmark results, there's a little bit of thermal throttling from time to time on this, but it's still not too bad. The SCR7 and SCR6, this is the SCR6 here, which has very similar CPU. So this one here has the 6900HX, this is the 6800H, so they're very, very similar. It's just this one's technically the Ryzen 9 a little bit faster, uh, but you can see there it's a little bit thicker as well, the machine. This fan does run fairly quiet, but it does run slightly louder, I would say. Um, but it's a much thicker fan, so it actually runs really cool. Uh, you'll see when I do my review of this, this thing does run pretty cool, actually, to be honest. Uh, but it does run slightly noisier as well than this. This thing runs very quiet. Okay, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the specifications here. So this one has the 6800H, which we kind of already knew, but it is an eight-core, sixteen-thread processor. It's actually a very good processor. Typically, you find it in higher-end gaming laptops from the 6000 series. They still sell them today. They're still fantastic. Uh, you can see here that the memory is, well, it's got 16 gigabytes kit in there, 4800 megahertz. Uh, it's, we're getting a little bit less because the GPU here is stealing it. So the GPU looks like it's set, at least in BIOS right now, to three gigabytes, which is probably fine for this machine here. Uh, and that's the 680M graphics. So it is actually very capable. These aren't some like cheapo kind of generic, you know, Ultra HD Intel graphics or something like that. The 680M graphics here are actually very capable. More powerful than a Steam Deck, not as powerful as an ROG Ally or Legion Go. And then you get that Realtek Wi-Fi, good Realtek Wi-Fi 6E, so nice speeds on that too. So the only thing that's not that great here, I would say, is this, the Kingston drive. It's, it's fine, I mean, the quality is fine. It's just not a super fast SSD or anything like that. Uh, overall, looks pretty good. Let's check out if there's any bloat on the system. I've installed, I think, two programs so far. I did do the AMD driver, so those are from me. You can see I installed those. I guess that was yesterday. Uh, da, da, da. Cinebench I installed and Crystal Dismark, uh, those I installed. And then you just get your Microsoft Office crap. It's a lot of Microsoft, like every language of Microsoft Office, which is interesting. Minecraft Education, this is all just, this is just stock Windows. So yeah, there's nothing abnormal in here. Like even Spotify is just like a stock Windows kind of thing. So it's basically just very stock. Um, there's no weird um, antiviruses, you know, Norton or McAfee or anything like that. So very, very stock windows, uh, a little bit less stock than the B-Link stuff. The B-Link stuff was really trimmed down, like it didn't even come with the Microsoft Store. Uh, this one here is just a very, like, straight, generic stock windows experience there. So not bad, to be honest, though. Everything looks fine. Okay, here's another cool thing. You can see here I have an SSD hooked up to the front here. This is an Acasis USB 4. I've done a review of this. And it's USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. You can see that there. And it's getting Thunderbolt speeds. So it's easy to expand this thing with you know, Thunderbolt 4 dock. Toss that in there. And you're going to be able to get a ton of bandwidth out of that. And we'll look at some benchmarks here. Now you can see that Kingston drive here. Not super fast. The reads are actually third gen realistically. Uh, rates are not that great, but it'll get the job done. It's not gonna really feel slow or anything like that. Cinebench scores are pretty good here. We're getting a little over 11,000 on Cinebench. Temperatures are good. You can see there that there's no real thermal throttling, maybe just for a moment before the fan kicked up. Wi-Fi is nice and fast here, you know, over 600 for both, so nice and fast. And then we can see here that I did do some virus scannings. There's been some reports of different YouTubers and on uh, written media about some of these mini PCs having viruses on them. So I did malware byte scan here, and then of course I did a Windows scan as well, and nothing was detected in either of those programs. Here's something that I often do. You can see here, I don't think this actually has a authentic Windows key. A lot of these, some of these mini PCs, they don't. Um, I've had some that do, and I've had some that don't. Uh, some of the lesser known brands, they don't seem to want to put on an authentic Windows key. I mean, it costs money, so they just don't do that. You can always buy another one, or maybe contact them, or just don't completely reset your computer using like a installation media. But if you do do that, um, you're going to basically lose your Windows key. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, and then you may ask yourself, can you play games on this mini PC? Well, of course you can, because it's AMD, and it has a 6000 series AMD processor, which gives you 680M graphics. Uh, 680M graphics are going to be more powerful than the Steam Deck and less powerful than Legion Go and ROG Ally, which means you can play AAA games, basically. So if the Steam Deck can do it, this can do it easily, because not only is it a more powerful iGPU, the 680M in this, but it also has more power, like the entire system, the SOC. 
uh, the APU has more power. So the uh, the 45 watts, 50 watts or so, you know, on this system here is going to be a little higher. So you can see here, you know, this runs at we're getting 35 watts right now on this uh, CPU here. Just quality FSR, right? Nothing crazy. Uh, I'm on low here though, so quality FSR low, and then I have. Uh, let me turn that off for now. Um, and let's see what we can do. Let's maybe turn the textures up. So I like to turn the models up to medium and I like to turn the textures up to medium and then so everything else can be on low and then just really like a lot of the textures just look a lot better and you're going to get like 35, 36 FPS here. There are areas that'll be worse, areas that'll be better, but I mean, you're going to get good performance here basically is what you're going to get here. So it's going to be a good, enjoyable experience here for AAA gaming. Baldur's Gate is not easy, an easy game to run. That's why I do Baldur's Gate. I don't test games like The Witcher and that because they're going to run no problem. But you can see here you're going to be able to play extremely demanding titles here without any issues. So I wasn't having any issues with this running a USB 4 type NVMe enclosure. Uh, I was actually gaming off of it for quite some time. But I am having issues with an enclosure here. Uh, we'll see if it can get it running but it seems like it just keeps cutting in and out here. Um, which is kind of strange. I don't like I think there might be maybe it just doesn't have quite enough bandwidth for this uh, uh, Razor enclosure here because you know it'll work for a moment and then it'll basically cut out You can see the fans will turn on so the device is being detected like it's working uh, And I was getting display like it goes again and then it'll cut out in a few seconds or something like that So yeah, see it's having a lot of intermittent issues there. So uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to run yes yeah. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be working fine for NVMe enclosures and docks and things like that, but just not quite enough for an eGPU, eGPU like this here. So what do I think of this Bose game mini PC? Um, it depends on the price. So I got this for about 400 Canadian dollars, which is actually pretty good. I mean, you get 16 gigabytes of RAM, you get the storage in here. It's all, you know, name brand. It's not random off-brand stuff. And uh, I mean, the CPU is good. You get a 6800H, which is a great CPU, which comes with 680M graphics, meaning you can do gaming on it. It runs nice and quiet. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of CPU noise. It doesn't have a lot of fan noise when the CPU is going. It does run a little bit hotter than some other mini PCs that I've tested. And then it runs about equal to some other ones. So if you get like a B-Link, you know, SCR6, which would be probably equivalent to this, that one has a bigger fan and it. it's a bigger machine, slightly bigger, more height in that. It runs cooler. Uh, but the fan also is a little bit noisier. This one here runs close to throttling if it's completely maxed, but it doesn't quite throttle. It's The fan is able to keep it running relatively cool. Um, you could probably, if you had slightly better uh, cooling, you might be able to push it just slightly more, but overall it seems pretty good. Overall, uh, build quality is fine. I don't have any issues with it. Like it's, you know, pretty standard for the mini PC scene. I don't find any problems inside. Everything looked nice and organized inside. No problems with it. The USB-C 4 here did support NVMe enclosures at perfect speeds. There was no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, the eGPU was acting funky with it though, so that was one thing that was a little weird with it. Um, and I'm, I don't think it comes with an authentic Windows key, based on what I can see. Uh, other than that, I mean, it seems pretty good. So, I mean, full price of this was in, like way too high. Like It was like six or $700 Canadian, that's too much. But I've seen it basically almost always on sale. I got it for like 400, which is a, actually a good price for what it is, for the specifications inside, the CPU and everything. I think that's a good price. I think it's fine. Uh, just, you know, you don't want to overpay on something like this. You know, as these guys start to produce more and they sell on Amazon, the brand will grow and then they'll be able to innovate and potentially make some more stuff and, you know, make higher end models. So I'll put a link to the mini, uh, video description down below through Amazon. I have no affiliation with these guys. I bought this myself. Uh, if you do shop through my Amazon links in general, I do get um, kickback from Amazon, not from the companies. Uh, it does help support me when these giant adventures where I just buy tons of mini PCs and explore them for you guys. So consider using those if you want. If you don't want to do that, then don't do that. It's no pressure. Uh, but either way, this is the Bose game mini PC. Uh, pretty decent overall. I think it's going to be, you know, if you're trying to keep your costs down, but you do want to get yourself a pretty good APU or CPU in this. I think this is a really good option for you.